Good day, this is Eddie from Peritech, and today I'm going to show you how to program a Runson F63 P3 head. Now, the big difference is you get the P1, which is time controlled, and P3, which is volume controlled, which basically regenerates on the amount of liters that passes through the vessel. So what we do first is we basically just plug in the 12-volt the transformer, the head comes on, as you can see. First thing that's going to happen is it's going to go into a flushing mode. There it shows you the model, 63P3. That goes into automatic flushing mode for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once this is done, it's going to kick over into the settings mode. You can hear the motor running, which means the head is starting up. Now the good thing about this head specifically is that you can program this head according to the amount of liters that moves through it to be able to regenerate it. So if you know exactly how long the regeneration needs to be after how many liters, you can program it exactly. All right, now you can see we've gone into the program mode. It's first going to give you a screen with some of the default settings. That's just going to show you. Now you've heard that initial peep. If you have a look here, you'll see a little key that's highlighted. That means the head is locked. That means no matter what I do to the head, cannot make any sort of changes. Now what we want to do first in the program of the head is we're going to hold the up and down keys together. We're going to unlock it. You're going to hear a peep again and you'll see the light of the key is gone. First setting we've got is the time, the actual time. Now it's set now 12 minutes past four. What we want to do, the actual time now is 12 minutes past three. So what we want to do is go to the setting of the, of the time and in order to activate this, we press the circle but uh, the square button. It's going to start flashing the 1600. Now, remember, this is a 24-hour format. All right, so it goes uh, right across 24 hours. So this means it's 12 minutes past four. Now we want to set it back to quarter past three. So what we do is you go to the down, uh, the up arrow key. It shows us now it's 12 minutes past five. So we want to go to there. We go 12 minutes past three. We press the square button again. Now it's, we got to the minute side of things. Now we go up. I put it at quarter past three. Now you'll see the spanner is flickering. That means we're still busy with the settings. Now in order to lock the setting in place, we press the square button again. Now the setting is saved. As you can see, the spanner light is fixed. Now what we do is move to the next setting. All right, the next setting that we've got over here is the time it needs to backwash. What time in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you want the backwash to occur or the regeneration to occur. Now currently it's set at 5 minutes past 3 in the morning. As you can see once again it's a 24 hour um, format. Alright now what we want to do is we want to reprogram this and take it to 2 o'clock in the morning. That's when nobody's actually using their water. So we press the square button. It activates the hours which is 3 o'clock in the morning. So we go up. It's showing us now 4. So we go to 2. Press the square button again. It's showing us 5 minutes. Now we want to take it down and now we're at two o'clock. As you can see, the spanner light again is flickering, which means we're still busy with the settings. In order to fix the setting, we press the square button. Now it is set at two o'clock in the morning to regenerate. For the next setting, we go, this is A1. Now this means that the head is programmed in an automatic way. Whatever we program it now, it's going to keep the settings. We want to always keep it at A1 because A2 will actually take it into a manual mode, which means you can manually backwash it. So don't ever worry about that. Just keep it at A1. We move to the next setting. This is now where you set your volumetric. When do you want this in liters? How many liters has passed through the vessel to start the regeneration or the backwash process? Now it's set at 2,000 liters. As you can see, the little M cube there. And it's set at two. Now what we want to do is we want to take it up to 10,000 liters that has to move through the vessel before it starts the regeneration process. So once again, we press the square button. It's showing us the two. We take it up to 10. Now it's set at 10 cubes. Press the square button. We don't really want to change it the minutes. If you want to, you can set it to any minutes you want. But we leave it at 10 cubes. Press the square button again. And it's now set at 10,000 liters when it will start backwashing. Next setting we go to. This is actually your backwash. So you actually see on the picture there and the number two shows you it's set at 10 minutes. 
all right now if you want to change it normally it's a good way to start off just keep it at 10 minutes on your backwash you press the square button now we want to take it let's say to five minutes go down to five minutes as you can see the span is still flickering and we press the square button again and it's set at five minutes backwash we move to the next setting this is your actual brine slow this is when it's pulling the water out of the brine tank now it comes at a general setting of 60 minutes always good to keep it at 60 minutes in the beginning or, or whenever on a normal default factory setting if you want to if you're doing more regular backwashes or regeneration you can set it down to 30 minutes once again same process press the square button we go all the way down if you keep it in you'll see it actually moves a bit faster go down take it to 30 minutes and to, to lock it again press the square button now it is going to do the brine slow for 30 minutes moving to the next setting all right this is your actual brine refill this is the amount of time it takes for your your, your head to to push water back into the brine tank now I wouldn't really touch the setting five minutes is long enough but let's say you do want to make a change let's say you want to take it up to seven minutes press the square button press the up arrow key till you get to seven press the square and it's locked once again moving on to the next setting this is the amount of fast rinse okay you'll actually see on the picture it's fast rinse now generally what you want to do is you want to keep your backwash and fast rinse at the same time so if it's let's say five minutes backwash you want to rip back uh, uh, fast rinse for five minutes too so let's set that to five minutes let's make the change press the square button we go down to five minutes and to lock it in place press the square button again and we go to the next setting now this is the amount of days let's say if you wanted to backwash every three days now it's currently at backwashing every seven days you'll see the little d's highlighted so let's make the change you press the square button you go down to every three days and to lock it into process again press the square button so now every three days at two o'clock in the morning it will do its regeneration backwash process and then our final setting is the amount of backwash in a day you want to do. Now, generally, you don't touch this. You only backwash once a day. You don't really set it because if sometimes if you do set it at twice a day, it'll backwash twice after each other. Um, so keep it at B1. No need to make a change on that. Now we have set the head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it about a few seconds and you will see the head will lock again and nobody will able to actually make any changes on it. Give it a few seconds it'll make a beep and then it'll lock <laughs> 